Okay. Right. So uh, here's the ballon. It's uh, it's finished, and I've put on there, put the label on there, and I've written on there. It's 1.1 to ratio, 500 watt, made by VK6CS, and the date. And I put the little clear plastic sticker over to protect that information. That's what it looks like inside. And I think that's pretty close to what it shows on their uh, on their drawing, on their uh, instruction sheet. There we go. As you can see, that's a uh, that's a pretty close match. I see on here it says 500 watt PEP current ballon. 500 watt PEP current ballon. And I'm sure I saw somewhere. Yeah, I think it actually says here. It says here ballon kit 1 kilowatt PEP. So, uh, Mr. Te Emdron, I think you need to change your label. Looking at the inside, I'd be surprised if it takes 500 watts, to be perfectly honest, um, let alone a kilowatt PEP. But um, anyway, what, uh, what I've done here, I've put, uh, put a 50 ohm load across the output here. And um, we'll just get the, uh, I've put, got the little, uh, the little antenna analyzer and uh, we're just going to see if it we've set the um, uh, variable load to 50 ohms 50 ohms across here and we're just going to see this is a one-to-one -one balance so this should see 50 ohms here and we'll just see what we get or I'll see what I get okay so there we go so 52 megs really doesn't want to know. It's 5.2 SWR. It says the impedance is 50 ohms, but that's because it's resistive probably. Uh, 28 megs, 28.5 that is. I still can't see if that's focused. I hope it is. 28.5 megs, it's showing SWR 2.6 and uh, an impedance of 39 ohms. We'll go down to, well that's 24 megs, that's 83 ohms, 2.9. 21, 2.2, 105. Now 14.1 at 20 meters, it's showing 47 ohms and 1.2, so it's usable on 20 meters. 10 megs, 10.1, it's showing 1.1 at 47 ohms. 7.093, it's showing 50 ohms and 1.2, so you could use it on there, on uh, 40 meters. And on 80, it's showing 59 ohms, 1.2, so you could probably use it on 80 metres. So you could use it on 80. It's uh, better on 40. Uh, you could use it on 20, but you certainly couldn't use it on 10. So it probably would have been a good idea as well if they'd have included the, um, the actual bandwidth of the ballon um, on, the, uh, on the instruction sheet here. You know, if, it's, if it actually gave you a... If it actually gave you a bit of a graph of uh, what to expect on what band before you actually bought the thing and built it. Because some people might actually want to use it on 10 metres and they won't be able to. But that said, it didn't cost me anything. I, uh, as I say, I won it at the uh, won it at the Hargfest. Can't remember what I won it for now. It's probably the door prize. I probably won it just for being there. Um, and uh, I won't be using 500 watts with it and I won't be using a thousand watts with it I'll only be using a hundred watts with it if that so it'll be interesting to see how it performs uh, I've got no idea what the loss through it is um, but um, we'll probably find out at a later date simply by doing a field strength me measurement with the ballon in place and a manual tuner and on the same antenna which is a, is a loop type antenna uh, but it's got a different tuning unit on, on it at the moment and no ballon. So I'll measure the field strength from that, measure the field strength from this and just see with the same input power which one produces the, uh, the larger field strength. So that's the, uh, that's the completed Tet Mtron ballon kit.
uh, complete with uh, just a little test. Again, thanks for watching.